יפה מאוד. תורה ל"ח, ליקוטי מוהר"ן, פרט ז', סקנד פרגרף. As much as the person is going to remind himself the illuminating days that he had in his life, the shiny moments, the good moments, the good times, times of closeness to the Creator, as much as he's going to remind himself that it's going to give him power to keep on stepping and walking forward to achieve new goals. His confidence is going to get stronger and he's going to be more focused and more committed to the truth. If you're not sure if what that you went through was good or not, good or bad, or if it was fun or if it was not so pleasant, so all of those doubts I'm going to confuse you about taking decisions for the future. But if you're strong and you remember and you say, for sure, the bad was bad and the good is coming from the Torah and the good is coming from the purity, from the Kedusha. So your thoughts and your mind are going to be settled to achieve your purpose, your goal in life. The only way to do that is by that wonderful power of Hitbodedut, that the person is talking to himself, that's the beginning. You check yourself, where am I holding, what am I doing, is it good for me, do I want to continue to do what that I do, do I, am I happy doing what that I'm doing, do I want to continue, is it too hard for me, am I happy, am I, am I, all of those questions have answers person need to have courage to stand in front of himself and to talk to himself and to deal with the place that he is holding. Where am I? What's my level? Am I happy? Am I not happy? Do I want to do it? I don't want to do it. Why am I doing it? What's my real reason? Why am I learning Torah? Why am I davening? Why am I doing it Bodhi Duyot? Why am I going to Uman? Why I came to learn Torah? What am I doing here? Is it the purpose of my life? Do I have something else in my life? Maybe I'm doing things because I'm afraid. I don't want to be afraid. Why am I afraid? Talk to yourself. Talk to yourself. After you came to some understandings between you to yourself, you can talk to the Creator. You can ask for help. If you're just going to cry and pray and going to ask, please, Hashem, help me with this, help me with that. And it's not based, it's not leaning on your understandings on your own stability on on your understandings so yeah, it's not even a prayer it's only s screamings and, and 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 it can be that you keep on denying yourself and and who that you are and and you don't find yourself even if you're so-called religious even if you're gonna pray and do it but do you and you still don't find yourself you can ask Please, Hashem, kill everyone. It's not a prayer. It's not tefillah. Korach was going and talking to the Creator every day, saying to him, tell everyone that everyone is going to see that Moshe is a liar, Moshe is a liar. Those are not prayers. It's nonsense. It's, 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 you're, just, you're just confusing yourself with your prayers. First of all, check yourself. Who are you? Who am I? What am I doing? Maybe I'm wrong. Why do I think like that? Why do I think that Moshe is a liar? Why do I have issues with Moshe? Maybe I am offended by Moshe. Maybe I am jealous at Moshe. Maybe, who, what's going on? What do I feel about Moshe? Who is Moshe for me? When you clarify for yourself the reality, the truth, who am I? What am I doing here? What happened to me? What I felt? What do I want? What I'm... What, what's my desires? Where are they coming from? Is it pure? Is it impure? Is it good? Am I happy? Am I sad? Maybe I'm afraid. And then you can start. And now you can pray. Please, Hashem, look, I found myself that I'm angry. Okay, so please help me with my anger. But when you always justify your angers, and now you're going to pray on it, 
It's not going to help you. It's not going to lead you nowhere. Hashem not going to answer those weird prayers because it's just going to damage you. So please, Hashem, revenge and kill. And Hashem not going to help you. You don't want it. You don't want it. You're just saying it because you're afraid to deal with your fear, with your own anxieties, with your stress, with the fact that you're a terrified little kid that haven't grew up yet. But we have to. We have to take ourselves seriously. We have to remind ourselves the good experience that we have in our life, that we had in our life. The private supervision of Hashem, how Hashem Edvar helped me with this, how Hashem Edvar helped me with that. How did I saw Hashem again and Hashem revealed Himself to me and when I was praying I felt so good and when I was saying Tikkun Aklali it gave me confidence and when I went to the Mikveh it, it gave me courage and purity and I felt like I can cross the ocean if I will decide and Hashem gave me so many powers in that day, so much powers and I, so now you reminded yourself, now you have, you, you have gas, you have money, you have power, you have, you have you have strength. You have the ability to keep on because based on the past, based on what that you know that you have, this is my success, this is my, my life experience, this is my wisdom, that based on my life experience, now I know, now I can choose again. I know what I want to choose. I know what brought me closer to the Creator. I know what brought me to Eretz Israel. I know what brought me to do tshuva. I know what brought me that success, that fin financial, financial success. I know what brought me that money. Once I went to do it in the, in the forest close to Shmuel Navi's grave, and I was doing long it but the do it on 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 rent. I, I had to pay three months rent. And I was broke. I didn't have money. And I and I finished praying and, and crying to Hashem. I said to Hashem, listen, I have few options how to bring money, but I don't want to use none of them. I don't feel like they're the, the, the ways to do to ask people, people for money and stuff. I, so help me without me ruin everything just you know you know how to do it and I came home and my father came for a visit and he gave us and he gave me 10,000 shekels and he didn't give me that amount of money long time before he didn't have and uh, and that's it and only after he went I, I suddenly went back with my thoughts to the Bodhidut and everything and I realized it, it's a miracle 100% that the, the, the amount that I was supposed to pay was 9,900 shekels and he gave us 10. Mm -hmm. So it was 100% it was miracle. And so I told that story once in, a, in class. So one of the students asked me, which tree was it in Shmuel Navi? <laughs> I started to laugh. There's no tree. It's your point of truth that you're standing in front of the Creator. When you stand in front of the Creator and you talk from the heart, you say, listen, in the world, this is how things are going, and I have a problem with it. Please help me. I don't want to do this. It won't be good for me. I have that issue. I need my panasa, but I don't want to work in a place that there are women over there, when there are goyim people getting in and out. I don't feel, it's not going to be good for me. I know myself. But I feel like I, need, I still need my panasa, I need to pay rent, so please help me. I don't want to look at women, I don't want to talk nonsense, lashon hara, gossip all day long. Please help me to keep my purity, guard my eyes. But still I need panasa and I don't know how it's going to come. Please give me the right solution. If those words just came out from your mouth, from a point of truth, from a point of, of sincerity, they're going to be answered, you're going to be answered. But if you just go every day to the field like, I don't know, like, like a, a, a crazy person, Hashem, I need Parnassa, please give me money that I won't have to defect my eyes. I don't want to look at women. And you just, you're not talking from the heart. You can say the same words, but they're not coming out from the heart. You just, you just make a mess with Hashem. You just, you divided yourself from Hashem now. You made a headache to Hashem. Now Hashem got migraine and you have to rest a little bit until he can come and talk to you. you a person can make Hashem sorry with his prayers even. Rabbeinu is bringing that in the Kutem Moran, that 
that even the good things that we're doing are, are making troubles for the righteous people that need to uplift our prayers. So we need to bring the prayers to come out from a good place, from an honest place, from a place of truth, to talk to the Creator like you talk to your best friend, to talk from the heart, to remind yourself exactly what is real and what is, and what is a fake, what is an illusion, what is good and what is bad, what is helping you and what is confusing you. And then out of those understandings you can go and you can talk to the Creator. You can get, really go and pray. This is why the Bodhidut calls Yeshuva Dat. First of all, you need to straight your thoughts, to settle your mind. First of all, who am I? What am I doing here? Thank you, Hashem, that I'm in the field. Thank you, Hashem, that I'm able to talk to you. You gave me the permission to stand now and, and share my heart with you. Thank you for that. Even just on that, thank you very much. Before I'm praying, before I'm confessing, just on the fact that you gave me that ability to stand and to talk to you. Thank you very much. I really appreciate it. What would I do if I wouldn't have that amazing, amazing gift that I can stand and talk to you like I'm talking to my best friend? Thank you for being here for me. Only that conversation is so precious, so great, so amazing that you can hear the, the, in the voice that it, that, that it goes somewhere. It's, it's, those are words of truth. The Creator, He knows exactly what you need before you open your mouth. And also, He knows that all of the things that you need are on the way before you pray, before you ask. Like I told you, that a friend of mine told me that he done more than 11 times 6 hours on the house. And he already signed up with the bank, and he already signed up with the owners of the house, with the landlord, on buying their house. And he also, the, the mortgage been approved, and Rav Shalom Arush told him also that he's going to have the money and everything else. And everything was perfect, just it didn't came yet. The time wasn't, wasn't, it just didn't came yet. And he told me, I'm going in Thursday to do another six hours. I told him, for what? You finish, that's it. You already, you see, you have the house. You don't need to pray again. He said, no, I... I'm afraid. I told him, listen, so go do six hours on yourself, on your confidence. Not on the house. The house, you have it. Of Shalom told you, you're going to buy the house with no debts except of the mortgage. That's it. You won't have no problems. You have it and you signed up with the bank and you sign up with the person. What else do you need? You do need to talk with yourself about it to relax yourself. To breathe, to remind yourself that you can breathe, <laughs> it's okay. Last week I met him, he told me that he fixed the house in another 300,000 shekels. Someone came and helped him, his family member that is a Roman Kablan, Shiputznik, builder. Building contractor. Building contractor, a family member. Helped them in three, uh, something that's worth 300,000 shekels. So on top of it, on top of what that he was supposed to and before of, so you see that, that God is with you. So you need the prayers for yourself. You don't need them for God. God is happy. <laughs> you, that's a you need prayers. So pray for yourself, for your sanity, for your purity, to have a cool and, and relaxed way of thinking and looking at things not working out of stress and out of fear. You need to talk to yourself. That's the beginning of the Yidbodadut. First of all, you come back to who that you are, to where that you're holding. Now you need money. You don't need money. You don't have money for rent. You don't need money. Money for rent, it's not what that you need. No, but I need money for rent. No, it's not what that you need. You need confidence that God will give you the money when you're going to need it. That's what you lack of. You lack of faith. Who is making money in the world? Hashem. He's the one that brings down the money. He's the one that is potach et yadech o mesbi al chol chay ratzon. He's the one that is zan umfarnes lakol. He's the one that is mefarnes mi karnere mi betzekinim vad karnere emim. He's the one that supplies and gives and influence all of the bounty, all kinds of shefa down to this world. It's him. So to make money, to bring money, it's not your job. It's not your job. So just you need to remind that to yourself because you forgot it. You thought you're going to your family. You thought you need to bring money. You thought you need to make... 
those are your mistakes. So you need to talk to yourself on that. Please, Hashem, help me. Help me to remember. Please. I want to understand it very carefully, 100%, not to have no mistakes on that anymore. That I will never going to forget that it's you. You are the one that supplies the money. You are the one that gives Vanasa. You are the one that gives Shiduchim. You are the one that gives health. You are the one that gives the opportunity to do Tshuva. You are the one that gives the wisdom. You are the one that gives power. You waking me up in the morning. Everything you need. I have to wake up at 7. No, you need to remember that Hashem is the one that's going to open your eyes when He'll decide. So talk to Him about that fact that you need to wake up at 7 because you think you should. So please Hashem, help me to wake up. No, all of the stress. No, I have to go sleep early. Don't bother me. Where's my alarm clock? What am I doing? No, why? What's going on? Let me go to sleep. Lock the door. The kids will not gonna talk. <laughs> it's better not to wake up for another day like that. <laughs> Who needs that craziness? But when you remember that only God wakes up, wakes you up in the morning. <coughs> So then you can go to sleep calmly and you say, Kiyat Shema, and you say, Hashem, I know. You're the one that now I'm putting my soul in your hands when I'm going to sleep. So watch over my soul and don't give it into the hand of the outsiders and protect me and keep me pure that I won't be contaminated at night, that I'll be strong and I'm going to wake up early in the morning fresh and strong and, 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 and sober and awake to serve you. I'm going to remember you immediately. And first thing I'm going to remember in the morning is the world to come, that there is a purpose to my life. I'm serving you, the Creator, Father in Heaven, Father of Mercy. When you go like that to sleep, you're going to wake up like that in the morning. But if you go to sleep tired and messed up and confused and angry, the morning is going to look exactly like that also. You need to prepare yourself how you prepare yourself? You need to prepare yourself. You need to work on yourself. To think, to pray, to talk to yourself, to clarify things to yourself. Where am I holding? What am I doing? What's my purpose? For what am I doing the things that I'm doing? And as much as you do that, you reject and you push, reject, push away the contamination of the snake that is an aspect of a storm and by that the power of speech is rising up the ability of yours to talk to the Creator is rising and rising and rising because in the beginning when the person is confused he cannot talk you see people that are in stress people that are confused they cannot talk you ask them questions even on things that they learned even on things that they know for sure they prepare themselves for that they cannot answer. Why? Because they're distracted. Their thoughts are flying in the head. They have this and that. And people are looking at them. And what the people are going to say? And will I remember it? I won't remember. He cannot talk anymore. And he practiced and he reviewed it so many times. He cannot talk. Why? Because he's distracted. Because his thoughts are flying all over. But if he's going to remind himself, there is no one here in the room. I have my purpose. I need to say my speech, I need to say my words that I prepared and I have my per per papers with me. If I'm going to mistake, I can open them, I can check, I'm not working for no one, I'm not afraid, I don't need to be, I don't have no reason to be afraid. And if I'm going to mistake, everyone can have mistakes once in a while. Everyone, are, even the president can have mistakes in his, in his uh, lectures, everyone can be wrong. Every, the biggest rabbis can be wrong. You're allowed to admit, to say, I was wrong, I'm sorry. It's a, if you're just going to think about all of the details that your situation contains, nothing bad is going to happen to you. You won't feel no stress. The stress is coming because you've been pushed. You've been pushed by your Yetzirah. No, you have to decide. Now, you have to say. Now, people are going to say. What you are going to do? What people are going to think? What, what's going to happen with you? How are you going to... All of those thoughts are only because you're not thinking about them all the way. So if people are going to say, so if people are going to talk, so if people are going to think, will it affect me? Is it really damaging my life so much? Really, it can hurt me so bad, like I'm afraid that it's going to... 
nothing gonna happen to me. I went through worse situations in my life and I managed and Hashem helped me even if I failed, even if I was wrong. So what? Please Hashem. And also Hashem can help me. Please Hashem, help me that I won't be wrong, that I won't make no mistakes. Give me the power. Give me self-confidence. Give me strength. Give me wisdom. Give me ability. Whatever you need. If you're going to think about it all the way until the end, to the bottom line, to the... To the, to the to, to, Come to conclusion, to straight conclusions that are coming based on faith, on simplicity, on knowing myself. Who am I? I am a good person that wants to do good things in my life. That's who that I am. And I want to achieve A, B, C. Okay, now let's see how I'm going to do it. I have those difficulties, those situations. Okay, for that I need to dedicate one hour. For that I need to dedicate two hours. On that I need to work. Okay. For that, I need to make a phone call. You have so many things to do. Nothing. Take care of one thing today. Take care of another thing tomorrow. Every day, do three things. That's it. Don't do more than that. Do what that you're able to do. And don't listen to all of the stress, to all of the sorrow, to all of the confusions, to all of the fears, anxieties. It makes you so... What I'm going to do? What's going to happen? They're going to kick me out from the house. I'm not going to pay my rent. I'm going to... Nothing going to happen to you. If you survived until today, it's beyond miracles. For sure. Really. You told me yourself. You came here to Eretz Israel. You didn't know between right and left. You didn't know nothing. You just came, realized that everything that you planned was wrong based on, on right? You told me some stories about that. Yes, you did. I'll remind you. Yes, yeah, something with Nefesh Benefesh. I don't know what was about the apartments, no? We talked yeah. about the apartments. Yeah, right. Now you say, after you wanted to shake my uh, self-confidence. I remember. I remember. What do you want? You told me. Every person can have mistakes with the house, renting a place from the United States. Now we have two families that are supposed to come. Bezot Hashem are coming in February. Now they need to plan their journey to come to Eretz Israel. It's hard. You don't know what to do, how to do. Can they count on us that we're going to rent a place for them or they need to? So now pictures in the emails, in the computer. Can you count on those pictures? Can... You can count only on Hashem. That's the real answer. So you need to think about every detail with the Creator in the field in it, but do to pray. Please, Father in heaven, please, we need a house. Please, we need that house to be good. We need no la leakings, no lackings, no snakes. <laughs> no snakes in Eretz Israel, <laughs> only in the Knesset. <laughs> um, yeah, they still have legs. Yeah. Also, also over there, it's not real snakes. Yes, no snakes. The original had legs. The original, okay. OG snakes in the Knesset. Mm -hmm. So, bottom line, when you pray on things and you clarify to yourself, I cannot rent a house even if I'm going to be there in Eretz Israel. I cannot know for sure that that house is the good, for, good, a good house for me. I don't know. You can reveal things after you saw the house, you check the house, and then you, you can tell it to, I don't know who. But I checked, but I looked, I don't know. How did it happen to me? Hashem wanted it to happen. So when you realize you cannot choose, when you realize you cannot pick, you realize you cannot know exactly nothing, so you, anyway you need to count only on Hashem. Anyway you need to count only on the Creator. So count on Him. And then you say, please, Father, and then you pray, and you reveal your faith, and you reveal the fact that you count on Him, and you pray on it more and more and more and more, and then you remove all of the obstacles, and you realize, you see the truth, you realize, you see the path that Hashem is creating for you, a path that is already built, that is already open for you. Just put your legs, just put another step, another step, another step, another step. When you need to see the path, when you need to see the results, when you need to know where my house is going to be, how much I'm going to pay, how it's going to happen, and from where, and from, then you don't want to live in faith. You actually reveal now that you don't want to count on Hashem, that you want everything to be prepared for you from before.
No confidence in the Creator, no faith in the Creator. You don't believe that He's good. You don't believe that He's going to be there with you. You need to know for sure that He's going to sign for you on a document. I'm going to pay your rent for the next 10 years, 20 years, 30 years, 40 years, at least 50 years. And Bezrat Hashem. And uh, you don't want to live in faith. The faith is in the nights. Nothing going to change that. That's reality. Faith is in the night. Wisdom, sechel, brain, is in the daytime. That's the light of the sun. We compare it to the, to, to the sun. That you know for sure, that's a mic, that's a book, that's a table. You don't need to believe that it's a table. But you need to believe that that wood is an oak, or an olive tree, or a sherry tree, or whatever, or a cedar tree. You need to believe, because you don't know, you don't, you don't know how to how to, to recognize. So you need to believe the expert that tells you. So you need to believe in something that you cannot see. You don't need to believe that it's a mic. It's a mic. You know it. You don't need to believe me that that's a mic. But if you came from the jungle, you need to believe. Because you cannot see that it's a mic. You don't know. Oh, really? If I'm talking to it, someone going to hear it over there. Because you came from the jungle. You don't have that. So you don't know. But if you know... So you don't need faith for that thing. So faith is in the night. So if you want to live life of faith, you need to understand that you're going to go through situations of darkness. And you need to believe over there in that darkness. And if that's what you asked for, like that it's written, what's the reason that Jerusalem been destroyed? Because paskumi mena and shamana. Because there were no more believers over there in Jerusalem. Everyone were from. Everyone were religious. Everyone. But they didn't believe in Hashem. They didn't believe. They didn't want it to believe. They didn't want it to believe. They wanted to know for sure I have my money. I know that's my house. I have my security, my safety. I know no one going to kick me out from the house. I want to know that I'm going to live until 120. I want to know that I have my car and that I paid my, my test and everything. I, I want to know. You want to know? You don't want to believe. When you said, I want to know, you said, I don't want to believe. If you said, I want to believe, you meant, I don't care. I don't want to know. I don't need to know. I want to believe. It's life of tests. There's no doubt about it. To be a believer, it's to live life of tests. That every step you make, it's on, a sh on, a, on, a, on into, into the fog, into, a, into a, a, a swamp, to a water, into a place that is not solid, to a place that you don't show that you have a solid ground to put your leg on it. You don't know. How are you going to know? Like we said, if you're going to remind yourself Mechad b'Shabbat, from the first day. But I saw Hashem. But Hashem helped me last month. But Hashem helped me two months ago. Hashem helped me when I was standing in a similar situation to that. I was praying. I was doing tshuva. So tshuva helped me. So maybe I'm going to do tshuva today. I'm going to try again to do tshuva. So after I confessed last time, it it helped me. I felt relieved. I felt happiness. I'll try that again. And then you go and you do tshuva. And suddenly Hashem is opening your eyes. And He shows you exactly where you need to put your leg. And why you couldn't see it before. What was distracting your thought. What was pain, putting, um, pulling your attention from, from, from seeing the reality. From seeing the big picture. From seeing all of the details. When you have that simple hit, but the simple conversation. That first of all, like we said, you're bringing yourself to know yourself, to look deep inside of yourself and to find yourself. Who am I in this situation? Why am I afraid? Why am I in stress? Why I don't know? Why I am confused? Why I am sad? Why I am not happy? There are two, those are two different questions. Why am I sad and why am I not happy? And you have two answers on those two questions. So you need to understand, what's the difference? Why sometimes I'm not happy and why sometimes I'm sad? What's going on with me? Who am I? 
why those things are affecting my life so much, why every phone call is affecting me, why every rumor, every word I hear, every situation is shaking my stability. Why? Who am I? What's going on? Why don't believe in Hashem? But I saw Hashem. Hashem, why I don't believe in you? And you're going to have the answers coming between the questions. After every question you're going to ask, if you're going to wait, just observe one minute and look and check, you're going to see a lot, of, a lot of things. You're going to understand a lot of new understandings about yourself. Things that are going to give you strength and powers to make another step and to went, walk into, deeper into that task, into finding yourself, to finding who that you are, to realize what's my purpose in life, what's my future, what I hope to achieve, what I want to achieve. Why am I holding myself back from believing myself, from going all the way to do tshuva, to commit myself to Hashem, not to be afraid of nothing anymore, never, ever again. If a person going to have that simple hit, but to do it every day, every day, at least an hour, at least an hour, you're going to find everything he needs, you're going to find. You're going to understand everything he needs to understand. He's going to see everything he needs to see. He's going to know everything he needs to know. He's going to realize everything he needs to realize. He will have such confidence, so much power, so much strength, superpowers. Thank you. Hazak Uvaruch. Hey, what's up, guys? It's Obi from the Imuna channel here in Jerusalem. Subscribe to the channel. It means a lot to us. It means a lot to Rav Dror. So show me some love. Show Rav Dror some love. Subscribe to the channel. We post new videos almost every single day. Awesome classes like this. If you have any questions on the classes you just watched or just other questions that you have or comments that you want to tell us, post them in the comments below. And we do a question and answer session every single week. So we'll either answer your question in that on video or we'll make sure to get you an answer. And of course, check out immunachannel.com. Awesome website where we have tons more inspirational content. We have videos, blogs, music, and all sorts of cool stuff. So get involved over there at immunachannel.com, and we'll see you in the comments.